hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to learn how to create this simple whatsapp pop-up animation inside of after effects without using any plugin so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in After Effects. Now let's create a new composition. I'll call it as Main Animation. For the background color, I'll choose solid black color. Width is 1920, height is 1080, and frame rate is 30. And hit OK. Now go to this Choose Grid and Guide option, select it, and choose Title Selections. Now hit Ctrl I on keyboard to import our logo. This is our main logo, so I'll import it over here and drag this logo in our main animation comp, just like this. Press S for scaling option and scale it a little bit. Now press Ctrl Y on keyboard to create a solid background here. Move this over here. Choose this eyedropper and select this color and hit OK and drag it down just like this and i'll lock this layer for now and what i'll do is i'll hide this layer now go to our shape option and choose ellipse tool i don't want any stroke so i'll delete the stroke hit ok and for the fill i'll choose solid white and hit ok now by holding shift just create one circle over here Press Ctrl Alt Home to align that anchor point to the center. Go to this Align tab and align it to the center. Now what I'll do is I'll press S for scaling option. Press 0 and create one keyframe at 0 frames. Go to 1.5 seconds and let's make it 100 again. Now go to the start. Press P. E create one keyframe over here hit U so we can see all those keyframes now move forward press V on keyboard to select our selection tool and I'll drag this not like this but I'll drag this circle over here just like this now go to the starting frame so we are getting something like this Again hit Ctrl D, hit U and now I'll move this circle over here. Now again press Ctrl D and now I'll move my circle over here. I'll drag it a little bit down. Yes. Now hit U so we can see all our keyframes. Now select all those keyframes and hit F9. Go to the graph editor. Select this graph by holding shift. Drag that handle backwards. So we are getting something like this. Now at 3 seconds, select this keyframes and hit Ctrl C and Ctrl V. Control C, Control V, Control C, Control V. Now select these keyframes, go to the graph editor, select this graph editor, and by holding Shift, drag this handle over here. So we are getting something like this. Now select this graph by holding Shift, move it over here. Select these keyframes and just move a little bit backward. Now select all these keyframes by holding Alt. I drag these keyframes just like this. Now select our logo comp. Hit U. 
go over here move this over here go to this windows animation composer we'll go to this transition presets 2d layer transformation scale from anchor point proportionally and i choose this overshoot scale from anchor point all you need to do is just drag this option in apply as in so as you can see we are getting something like this now i'll adjust this a little bit so as you can see we are getting something like this now after that what i'll do is then just select this circle i'll go to my effect and presets panel and i'll apply one effect called eco just like this so what we need to create the copies of the circle so now we will simply the settings instead of 333 three, three, i choose 133 three. and i will increase the eco copies so as you can see we are getting something like this maybe i decrease it let's make it zero increase the copies a little bit Let's the number of that should be 40. Yes. Apply this eco to all this layers and move this logo layer at the top. After that what I'll do is I'll create one circle by holding shift, press ctrl alt home, go to the align tab, align it to the center, at this point press S for scaling option, let's make it 0, let 4 second, let's make it something around 160 go to the start now again go to this contains ellipse one stroke one and create one keyframe on the stroke width now hit u to see all those keyframes initially i will make it 200 and at the end of it i will make it zero and now select this shape layer I don't want any fill over here, so I'll cancel it. Then I will show and I choose white color and hit OK. So we are getting something like this. Select these keyframes, hit F9, go to this graph editor, select this handle and drag it backwards. Also select this and drag it over here. And drag this down and adjust the positions. And just it just like this yep this looks good to me now what I'll do is I'll still like my paint tool I'll create one line over here just like this to the trim part option and I will create it trim path animation over here initially let's make this end 0 create one keyframe and at 5 seconds I will make it 100 after this point I will create one keyframe on the start and at this point I will make it 100 so we are getting this kind of animation now select these keyframes hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph editor and adjust it something like this or 
select this keyframes hit F9 go to the graph editor select this handles and move it over here select this keyframes press alt on keyboard and just move it over here so we are getting something like this now press R on keyboard press alt so we can create an expression over here now type rotation square brackets and let's call it as zero and after that plus let's uh, take 30 star index now hit ctrl d again until we get this kind of results now if i hit play button so we are getting this kind of stroke animation now i just adjust this I'll drag it down over here and I'll move this over here. So this is the simple pop-up animation of our WhatsApp logo.